Part of the Force Unleashed experience on the next generation consoles really is digital molecular matter and euphoria, biomechanical AI, and the Havoc physics systems. But we really have focused a lot of effort on ensuring that you get the same great Force Unleashed experience no matter what platform you play the game on. So the PS2, PSP, and Wii versions are being built by a company called Chrome Studios out of Australia. One of the things we've strived for at Chrome in developing Force Unleashed is making sure that no matter what platform you're on, whether it's the PS2 or the Wii or the PSP, that you're just totally feeling empowered. The experience that you get will just be phenomenal across every SKU. When we first started working on Star Wars The Force Unleashed, we knew we wanted to put it on as many platforms as possible. But we also made the decision to ensure that each platform was going to be unique and different in its own right. On the Wii, we have the, the very visceral experience of wielding a lightsaber using the Wiimote and your force powers using the nunchuck. You, know, you swing the Wiimote and it, and it responds to your swings. You're able to stab, uppercut, people go flying in, in every direction. It's exciting. It is the most connected to the force. You are feeling like you're doing these things because you have to physically get up and move. I mean, there's this combination after combination using the Wiimotes that actually just take it to another, another level. So it was both designed to be simplistic, but also very, very deep the more you went into the game. In dual mode, we have nine different arenas and 27 different characters. Some that are from TFU, some that are from the prequels, some that are from the expanded Star Wars universe. So there's, there's plenty of characters to choose from. You have power-ups and you have all these abilities. I think players really will feel unleashed in the Wii version of the game because of the control scheme. It feels like you're really engaged and connected to this apprentice character through all the motions that you're doing. So the great thing about working with Chrome has been giving them an opportunity to develop some unique content. So there's locations, there's characters, there's places on those platforms you're not going to see anywhere else. One of the things I'm most excited about on the PS2 version of the game is the original content. You're able to actually go to the Jedi Temple, which is in ruins, and participate in the Jedi Trials, which are kind of metaphysical challenges. You will need all of your skill to survive. So the apprentice will go there and will confront spirits of long dead Jedi. And I think Chrome has done an absolutely amazing job designing some very cool Sith enemies that you can actually fight. A thousand Jedi died cursing Darth Desolus. This console has been around for a long time, but we're still pushing the envelope. We went back and we built a new physics solution from the ground up so you can have tons of ragdolling enemies flying across the screen. You can pick up 20 or 30 things in a room at one time, and they're all moving in motion, and they look real. It looks like real physics, and that's something I never thought we could do on a PS2. What that really means for the player is these environments are going to be much more interactive and much more destructible than you've ever seen before in a game. Early on, we knew we wanted to do a PSP version of the game, but we wanted a mode that players could just kind of pick up and play uh, that really would harken back to all of the films and give you know the PSP owner something special and unique and new. So we came up with this idea of historical missions. The historic missions are something that actually Lucasfilm gave us the great privilege of doing where we get to actually relive five of the classic moments from the six movies. So you might be Luke Skywalker and Vader battling on Cloud City. But rather than just having the powers that we saw in the film, you actually have all these unleashed powers. You have repulse, you have lightning, you have a really supercharged force push and it's being fought in a very destructive environment. There's no limit of power you're gonna feel coming from the PSP. You know, when you cast lightning, you're gonna hear that fizzle, you're gonna see that zap. We really were able to take a PS2 quality experience and put it onto the PSP. And the, 
DS version is being developed by a company called Enspace, and they've really brought something special to the table with our control mechanics and this kind of really easy combo system. The touchscreen interface that we came up with, um, collaborating with Enspace, I think really helps bring the experience you know, closer to the player's hands. Anybody should be able to just pick up the DS and using the stylus be able to chain together lightsaber attacks and combine those with force powers so that literally being unleashed is only a flick of the wrist away. So you jump right into it and before you know it you're using you know force powers that you've never seen in the movies that are just doing incredible amounts of damage. We have a couple different multiplayer modes, more of a standard deathmatch on the DS. We also have more of a dual-based uh, multiplayer mode where it's sort of a, there's a back and forth and a sway meter and whoever gains the advantage find them unleashes themselves and it's really a lot of stuff in, in one small package. I think everyone's going to be really happy with what they see no matter what platform they play because we really have delivered on kicking ass with the force and immersing people in these great locations and this really awesome story and doing it in a fun way that they can really get into. You're going to feel powerful right off the bat and that's you know, kind of at the core, that's what TFU is about, to feel like the most powerful Jedi or the most powerful force wielder of all time. Each platform is delivering the, the same great story. Each platform is delivering an unleashed experience. They all do it very differently, but they manage to make you feel like Darth Vader's secret apprentice who's on this epic journey.